Hello everyone, this is Sharon Moradi, one of the American Heart Association's early career bloggers and today we're here at the beginning of the Vascular Discovery 18. And right now I'm joined here with Bradley Wright, one of the superstar undergrads in our laboratory who's also a winner of the tri ATVB Travel Award. And uh, the question that I'm asking him is, how do you find Vascular Discovery 18 helpful for you as an undergrad and how it's going to help you to, uh, for, uh, for your professional development? And actually, I'm also asking him to give us a very short introduction of the project that he's doing. So, so Vascular Discovery 2018 is extremely helpful for me, especially as an undergraduate. Um, networking is something I've never really considered myself too good at, but it kind of just comes to you when you're doing this kind of science. I was given the opportunity to do a rapid fire oral presentation, uh, which is something I was a little nervous about at first, but it brought so much attention to my poster. I was able to meet so many cool and interesting people and have a conversation about science and what I'm passionate about, what they're passionate about. And even though I didn't think my poster was too impressive or big of a project, they still were excited to share their ideas with me. And I think that's just what this whole conference is about. Um, and so specifically, relating to my poster, I'm studying TA, thoracic aortic aneurysm, and sexual dimorphism, so the characteristics of vascular pathology that vary between males and females. And what I found was that despite similar pathologies between male and female mice, including elastin fragmentation being elevated in females, rupture rate is still incredibly low in female mice compared to males. So there must be some sort of feature of vascular pathology that varies fundamentally between male and female mice, and this is the first step to figuring that out. Thank you. So I'm joined here with Dr. Alan Duggerty and what he's going to discuss with us is that as the Editor-in-Chief of ATVB, what are some of the criteria of a manuscript that makes it stand out from the other submissions to the journal? And uh, let's take a look at wh what he thinks about it. So when we receive a manuscript at the ATVB office, the thing that we really look for is it well put together with a coherent hypothesis, well detailed methods and a results section that clearly describes the progression of why this hypothesis is being, uh, being answered. And then finally it needs a strong concluding statement in which that statement is supported by the results. And of course then there's all the other things that has to be very well put together graphically, has to read well, just things to make sure that uh, people will think this is a really convincing, fun manuscript to read. So I tried to ask some of the people who are attending the Vascular Discovery 18 about the highlights, the scientific highlights of the sessions and uh, let's take a look at some of the social media influencers idea about what they find really interesting at Vascular Discovery 18. Hi, my name is Jeff Shu. I'm a cardiology fellow and graduate student at UCLA and I thought Vascular Discovery 2018 was a fantastic conference, saw some great science, I just finished one of the poster sessions, um, saw some great posters from the Aikawa lab at, uh, at Harvard and spoke with the postdoc Mark Blazer, talked to me about the proteomics and uh, transcriptomics of bicuspid versus tricuspid calcific aortic valve disease, so I thought that was fascinating and he's doing some great work. I also remember one of the highlights for me yesterday was a talk from uh, Derek Aquan from the Bob Taylor Lab at uh, Emory and Georgia Tech and he focused on uh, chronic inflammation and seeing how that led to this concept of stress neutrophils and it just opened up a whole new world of uh, viewing chronic inflammation in my mind. So overall the science has been fantastic and another great part has been meeting some other early career investigators uh, and other uh, active tweeters here at the conference. So. Thanks for a great conference. I, I loved it, learned a lot, and can't wait to, to attend next year in Boston. My name's Wei-Ling Lau. I am a junior nephrology faculty at University of California, Irvine. This is my first time attending Vascular Discovery. It was an excellent experience, um, especially of interest for my field because vascular calcification is so prevalent in our kidney disease population. It was very encouraging to see all the progress being made in the understanding of the pathophysiology. Um, there was talk from Dr. Aikawa about matrix vesicles and how they evolve um, in extracellular um, calcification. Um, there was talk from Dr. Shanahan about the 
emerging targets in um, cell senescence that may be reversible and thus decrease the burden of cardiovascular disease. Um, and also very interesting was the take home message we got from the early career training session where we um, had role playing in difficult uh, scenarios that you might face with API. And really the take home point is to be persistent about your goals and how you want to ad advance your career uh, while keeping a calm and open dialogue. So it was an excellent experience overall. That was some very interesting uh, points brought up by uh, Jeff and Wei Ling about what they found interesting throughout the event. And if I want to uh, share some of my personal thoughts first, of course, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the session about how to come up with a definition for precision medicine by looking at the audience answer that was uh, conducted by Dr. Kiran Misonero. Uh, that was one interesting point of the session for me. I also really enjoyed uh, the talks that were given by the ATVB Early Career Investigator Award recipients, specifically Mirel's work on MIR-33 and macrophage autophagy and atherosclerosis and also another uh, interesting keynote lecture by Dr. Stan Hazen about how to modify gut microbiomes and how it can affect some of, some of the interesting cardiovascular complications. And finally, I was really also uh, inspired by the talk of Dr. Catherine Moore during the Women Luncheon uh, Award. So now we're here at the end of Vascular Discovery 18 and that's a wrap for us. Great scientific presentations, fantastic poster sessions, and marvelous opportunities for networking and meeting new people. And that was a fruitful event for all the people who attended so uh, i hope that to see you all uh, in vascular discovery 19 which is going to be held in boston thank you for following along and i hope that you enjoyed all the scientific uh, presentations that have been covered throughout the three-day event